I grew up in Italy, in a little town called Vasto, in Abruzzo, right on the ocean, on the beach. And I come to Perth in Western Australia. My hometown and my new town are sister cities. I'm Nino La Verghetta. I've got a restaurant in Liderville called Pappagallo. Pappagallo can be a nickname for someone that's a big talker. In Italian, Pappagallo means parrot. My mom used to say that, you know, Pappagallo, it was me because I never shut up since I was young, you know? So, yes, yes, yeah, I talk a lot, yeah. Yeah, our restaurant's got really big connection with Italy because we try to do everything with all the fresh ingredients as meant to be. So obviously, the Italian food, there's only one way to do it. Traditional, fresh, with love, that's it. You got a lot of influence from your family, where you're coming from. Uh, grow up from uh, my nonna's in the farm, people work in the farm for them, and this contract was to get a wages plus have a food at lunch. So there was 15 people who have a lunch every day. My mom and my nonna, they used to cook for these people. Like be in a small restaurant with the same people every day. These people, they had to change the menu every day. So for my mom and my nonna, it was always stressful. What we're gonna cook today? What we're gonna... So obviously, as a kid, I was listening to this sentence every day, food, food, food. They come with the, inside you without not even thinking about it. So food, is, uh, that's what it is. Col Nino. It's so me and Antonio, when we look at each other, even with the, uh, what we do today, whatever is in the fridge, he come up with something, you know what I mean? It's good because he can cook uh, from south of Italy and from north of Italy. We speak the same language in the kitchen anyway. I love, I love, I love the food, so I got a lot of passion. And since when I was young, then that's why I started to go to the school, to the chef's school. And I don't think that I will never change my job because I love to cook too much. I love to make people happy. He's a lovely guy. It's like my son, to be honest. So we do a lot of things together. It's not some bro. Vasto use a lot of seafood dishes. It's located on the ocean with the little town, 100, 200 meters above the sea. I go there every year. My mom and my dad, everyone live there, my sisters. That's the night time, the night life. That's typical arrosticino, like with the sheep skewer that we do everywhere in Abruzzo. That's all my sons with the cousins enjoy them. So that's my dad's farm with the, the chili that he grow. Very important ingredient in our dishes. Red paprika that you call in English. They normally they put it in a string and they put it dry on the sun and they keep it for the winter. That's my mom is doing it. Everyone does this in Basto. Anywhere, look, in, in the center, <laughs> anywhere in Basto you find this. And that's uh, some of the bruschetta we done for dinner at night. Sometimes when uh, you go home and you don't want to cook, that's what we do. That's my dad's uh, tomato. You will never start, it's my wife with the tomato. A lot they do the tomato sauce, all my aunties put together, they do their own tomato sauce, yeah. Yeah, my dad, is, uh, he loves uh, growing tomato, he's always been uh, a fruit and veggie man all his life. So now, uh, even if he's 70 years old, still uh, in the farm, uh, grow this uh, tomato that he loves. Uh, Italian sausages are made, yeah. To take this picture of the food like this, and make you remember this, these things more than anything, you know? Very good chef. Unfortunately, he's born uh, in Campania. If he were born to Vasto, he was uh, excellent. No issue. Only one issue. He born 200K down south. They kick me out from my kitchen all the time. I'm, uh, I'm annoying sometimes. That's what he said. Romolo, we met each other in a pizza show in Melbourne. Straight away, we had a relation because we're both from Abruzzo. He's from Lanciano. I'm from Vasto, very 50 minutes away anyway. It would be good if it was from Vasta, but unfortunately, it's from the mountain. I start to learn from my dad. He's a pizza chef in Italy. We have a small pizzeria, and I start to learn since I was young. Slowly, slowly, it's a passion. It's a Roman-style pizza. It's very traditional pizza. It's very crunchy, I like it. Usually, we make 150 pizza a day. 
Yeah, we are very busy. More than 1,000 a week. No, lo so, sto scherzando, no, andiamo facendo un aperitivo. Very nice, yeah, we're gonna speak Italian tonight. I didn't know you were coming. Nino is very good to speak with people, to, he's like a papagallo, he fly, to, he fly in between the table to talk with people. Without him, he's not a papagallo. For me, it's very important to work with Nino because first he comes from my same place, so we can show to our customers our traditional food and uh, also is uh, like a brother for me. I feel like if I'm home, no? In Italy, no? The relationship between Vast and Pert that belongs for 25 years. There's a lot of big uh, friendship between the cities. So tonight we got this dinner that we do all the Vastesi dishes, like the cavatelli with brodetto di pesce. It's typical seafood dishes that we do in my town. Everyone, not just my nonna, all the nonna and mama, the, every family, they Vastesi, they do this dish. Every Friday, normally it's a seafood day. We got an Italian uh, Vastesi wine that we imported from Italy called Pecorino. The name of Pecorino is take the name from the sheep. Pecorino is a cheese. But in uh, old age in my town, the shepherd used to take the sheep in the winter time on the beach and the summer time on the mountain. In this way, to go up and down mountain to beach, this sheep that will stop and eat the grapes, that's why they take the name of the wine, Pecorino wine. By cooking Italian food here, it's connected this uh, town with Vasto at the same time. So for me, it's uh, like it be a bridge between the two cities. The brodetto di pesce alla Vastese is made with seafood and pasta in a beautiful sauce. And Romolo will finish it with a glass of pizza. Romolo, you can put the gloss on top. Thank you. Oh, nice. Grazie. In, in Italian culture, it's very important. The, the, the meal. We, from since, since when we were young, we share in the meal at the table at the family. And then uh, even with friends, it's always very important to meet and uh, around the table and sharing a meal. We come here because it, it brings us back to home. Um, you know, we always have the traditional food here, uh, which we love, which we can't find anywhere else. So, uh, I was born here, so our Italian roots seems a lot stronger, I think, than people in Italy. Because when our parents came here, all those traditions from that moment, time stood still. Without the friends, he can do nothing. We say in Italy, the, the friends are better than the relatives. Because the relatives, they can be like a snake. As a friend, you know, when you find the, tra the friends, it's, it's a better than the money. Chi trova un amico, trova un tesoro, we say, no? Friend, you can choose that. We keep Italy very close. Chi trova un amico trova un tesoro. Whoever finds a friend find a treasure.